Hello all and welcome to the Duplicate Success International Monday Night Webinar. Today is Monday, October 26, 2015. My name is Sherry Bender. I'm a Silver Director from Vista, California. I have the distinct honor of introducing the hosts of tonight's webinar. They're very well respected business leaders and mentors in this industry. You'll definitely want to have your pen and paper out, sitting up, paying attention, and taking notes as you learn how these industry experts continue to build their business successfully. They have achieved the rank of executive pool directors within our company. Our co-founders of Duplicate Success International are amazing leaders, mentors, and most importantly, amazingly and beautiful friends. Randy and Viola, are you on the line? Yes, we, we are. We are. Thank you for that wonderful introduction, Sherry. Yeah, You're so welcome. Yes. Well, let's get started. We are Randy and Viola Krebs from Salt Lake City, Utah. Our journey with USANA has been very exciting and re rewarding. I started taking the USANA products 10 years ago when I was experiencing some health challenges and I noticed a big improvement in my health and with that I embraced the business model and 11 months later I just decided to step away from my radiology career and focus on my USANA business. Another turning point for us was when Randy decided to retire early from his corporate position in the aerospace industry and that was over three years ago. He actually retired 10 years earlier than he had planned and today we're able to spend quality time with each other, travel and best of all we get to make a difference in other people's lives. So let's get started. Okay, so our, da our daily method of operation, our, our team DMO, we like to cover that at the beginning of each webinar training. Number one, use the products every day, AM and PM. That's pretty easy to do. Um, number two, read, watch, or listen to 15 minutes of personal development material daily. I usually do half half hour, sometimes an hour a day. I love to to, to read and watch, um, and do personal development. Personal development. Number three, add two brand new people to your contact list and invite them, text or call. And here are a couple of, of examples that you can put on a text or an invite. My company just came out with a 10-minute YouTube video and we need to practice on some friends. Would you be willing to watch it and let me call you afterwards to ask a few questions? Another one would be, I am learning my company slideshow and I need to practice on someone I trust. Would you be willing to meet up and let me practice on you? What would you do after that? Well, you'd ask the closing questions, which are on page 5 of our, of our Fast Track Manual. And um, after they see the presentation and do the close. So doing that, um, contacting two people every day is um, a real important part of the DMO. Okay, um, with doing the DMO, we have uh, some team recognition that we want to recognize for this week. We'd like to welcome new clients. Welcome Joe Namelka, new client introduced by Jared and Crystal Krebs. Welcome Jesse Lopez, new client introduced by Jared and Crystal Krebs, and that is Crystal's father. Welcome George Valenzuela, new client introduced by Victoria Horman. Welcome Bernadine Gistlinger, new client introduced by Jason Hander. That's a cute dog. <laughs> Welcome Leticia Rubio, new client introduced by Eloisa and Anselmo Leal. Now we're going to do a special recognition, and we have a couple of items on this um, for this week's recognition. We had a couple of, of events, I guess you would call them, one in Salt Lake City and one in San Antonio. The one in Salt Lake City was a GoPro recap and it was held at the USANA home office and there's a picture of Randy and I holding uh, holding um, uh, Andre Gordon's belt. belt and Andre Gordon has, he's a Ruby director with USANA and he carries this belt. If you ever see him at a convention or something, he's not a boxer. You know, you, you, I thought he was a boxer and, and he had won, won this belt, but in reality, um, he carries it for a certain reason and 
he, we got to learn from Andre Gordon. I didn't really know him prior to, to this event. He is a Ruby director and he's an actor. He lives in California and he was in Salt Lake City. He has done some videos for USANA because he is very good on teaching about belief and mindset. And so we got to learn from him and he, um, <laughs> this belt that he got, he actually visualized the, a diamond belt from a professional wrestler. And so this is on his way and he actually, um, because he visualized the diamond belt and actually met this person, the person gave him a diamond belt. So it's a long story, but um, he, he was telling us that visualization works. And we learned about the GoPro event from uh, Brian Douglas. Uh, he's an executive foundational diamond director who lives in the Salt Lake area. And then Randy and I also trained on some of the strategies that we learned from Eric Worre. So the, the building or the, the event, um, we had, you know, it wasn't a huge turnout, but it was a short promotion time. We only had about four or five days to promote this event because it was kind of a last minute thing that was put together by Nathan Schooley, our um, manager of direct or of, of field development. And so you can see that, you know, it's so great to attend events that are local within your area because you get to hang out with like minded people and you get to learn from uh, some of the local leaders. And it's just, um, you know, sometimes when we're out in the real world, you, we are um, handling negative negative people and so it's just neat to be for a little while to be with positive people and then it makes us stronger so I always always encourage every my team and and all of the teams to to get to know each other cross line like this would you like to say anything about no, this event? No, that's fine okay so the other event that was held at the same time was in San Antonio is the road to achiever recap so a lot of the USANA corporate VIPs came to San Antonio and held this wonderful event, I hear. And I know there were about 10 members from our team there. And I wasn't there, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to explain it. However, we have um, Tracy and Robert Vega from Poteet, Texas that were there. And they are going to tell you a few things about what they learned at this event. Tracy and Robert, are you there? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Well, how was the event? Tell us. Tell us. Uh, it was a it was a really good event. Um, you know, Robert and I just got started with Usana, so we yep. are uh, taking baby steps. But it was uh, very informative. Um, from you know talking about the product and the benefits of the product, uh, all the way up to you know how to. Uh, go for the gold like in 90 days so a lot of good information there was a total of I think six speakers and they all spoke about different aspects of USANA and just some really good information and really good direction that's awesome so so what did that do for your belief Tracy um, well I mean you know seeing is believing so <laughs> right um, there were you know so I don't know. It just it, it just made it more real, um, <laughs> you know. And to hear the stories and uh, from each different uh, presenter and and I guess most important for me and I know I, I've shared this with Jared over and over and over and over is mm -hmm. that it's a quality product that I believe in that I am utilizing in my daily life so that I can truly go share the USANA experience with other people so I try to include that in on uh, you know being successful is mm -hmm. I have to make sure that I stay grounded there and that's my uh, yeah what do you call it that's the direction I want to take our business in and so it was a lot of good information and um, you know just seeing the people up there hearing their stories how they started out, how long they've been in the business, and where they're at now. Even one one of the speakers had taken off seven years. Oh wow! wow. Yes, his last one was Finrod, but he was still doing fine financially. <laughs> so, I mean, oh, that's yeah. Was yeah. Amazing. So, in any case, uh, I'm glad we were able to attend. 
And I think you hit it right on the nose. Um, it's important to attend these events because you are hearing other, other people's stories. And those stories are, you know, they're so real. And so it makes you feel like, um, I, you know, I can do this. This person took seven years off. <laughs> you know, he's doing fine. Yeah. Or whatever the that story is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love their story too. Robert, would you like to say a few words? Yeah, I mean, I, I just want to second what, what Tracy, you know, said. I mean, it was a very eye-opening and, and invigorating uh, conference. Um, you know, our, our experience with USANA, you know, up to that point had just, you know, been, you know, in, in, in a living room of our niece and nephew's home with, with Jared there. And, and, you know, Jared was very inspiring, but, but when you take it beyond that and you get into a, a, a bigger environment and you just see how how you know big it is and how people traveled from you know uh, pretty remote areas you know other states down all the you know from Kansas and Oklahoma down and you know people from across the border it just it just like Tracy said it makes it real you know beyond just you know being in a you know our niece and nephews you know living room you know it just yeah. you realize you you're part of you you know you're part of something bigger and the opportunities that you hear about just become you know more concrete right right yep the bit the fa the bigger and <laughs> global family is um it's always good to to know you know it starts with the, the the little family and then just moves on to the bigger family and there's so much to learn from from everyone so Thank you so much for um, filling us in on, on that event. Okay. And I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be more in, in Texas there. San Antonio's really hopping and moving. Okay, great. Well, we look forward to it. Okay, so congratulations. Can you take this off? I can't read it. Congratulations, Carmen and Sabrina. Carmen Gutierrez is pictured here with her mom, Sabrina, that's in the middle, and her sister, Sylvia, that's on the left. Um, Carmen is online, and she's going to tell us a few, um, she's going to tell us a product story of her mother, and I'm excited to hear this. So, Carmen, are you on? Need, need to unmute yourself, Carmen. That is a cute picture of you guys. I see you got your hand up. You'll still need to unmute. Unmute your phone. Wow, there you go. Carmen. Now? Oh, yeah, we can yes. hear you. Yes, hi. Awesome. I'm excited to hear your story about your mom, Sabrina. Yes, my mom is a very special person. And um, it was it was nice to, to see my mom grow her beliefs in USANA based on her own uh, experiences, you know, with Biomega and the latest with uh, the essentials. And now my mom um, is so uh, thankful for the essentials because it has helped her with her acid reflex. My mom was suffering really bad of this and oh, she was wow. taking purple pills. Yes, it was very bad. She couldn't eat. She, w she was doing bad. and. Um, now with the uh, with essentials alone have helped her tremendously to deal with this. You know, today I was with my mom and she was telling me that it really does help her. She does not have to take anything. She doesn't have to start eating the food she usually, you know, used to eating. So I'm happy for her and I wanted to share that, that, you know, essentials um, work wonderful. You know, for me, for my mom, and you know the Biomega. That's also not a good thing. My mom, my mom doesn't wake up tired. She used to wake, up and now she she just doesn't. And Biomega, although it's not a um, uh, necessarily meant for to help you sleep, Biomega does that effect. My mom, it calms her brain, and I I noticed that. That's one of the things, the benefits of Biomega. It relaxes your brain. It's a dis distressor, and uh, it helps her, helps her life along with the profanol. But that's the main thing that I wanted to share with you guys. The well, thank you. 
and you know we, we never claim that any of our products are a cure but it's sure amazing that when you start taking them that you notice your you know improvements in conditions and it helped her uh, yeah I'm so happy yes, for your did. mom uh, the biomega I had never thought of it as a, a de-stressor but I can see that it is for brain you know development yes. and I can see how it would work for that thank you Carmen for um, sharing that story that um, is very inspiring Nice talking to you, Viola. Thank you. Congra congratulations, Ruby Perez. Uh, Ruby, is Ruby on? Yes, she yeah. is. Ruby, are you on? I Do we have a picture that's next? No, that's it. Okay, so we are looking here. Yes, at, I'm here. We, we are looking at some blood test or something here. I'm looking at it and, and reading it, and it's a cholesterol test. Would you like to share with us what this all means? Yes. I, okay. It's a blood sugar test. So okay. um, back in July, yeah, back in July, I took a test. Um, my doctor said I was uh, pre-diabetic, so he was treating me for diabetes. Um, that was back in July, and then I just went back in, uh, last week. So it's been three months, and uh, um, I'm not taking any medication. I'm just taking my essentials, the vitamins, and the, the shakes, and I have been able to reduce the sugar, my sugar levels down eight points. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, my, my doctor was pretty impressed too. <laughs> That's awesome. Did, did he ask you what you're doing? Um, yes, he, he asked me what I was doing. Um, I told him I was, well, I am watching what I eat, my diet, I'm exercising, and I'm also doing um, the essentials, the proflavanol, the omega. Um, but my doctor thinks I'm taking my medication, that metformin, which is the medication to to reduce your for diabetes, which I'm not taking because I don't like the side effects. So you so didn't tell him you're not taking it. I told him I'm not taking it, but oh, he went and gave me a refill of it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't believe me. He does not believe me that I'm not taking my medication. He insists. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Yeah. So I, I just try to prove him wrong because he said that there is no way I can reduce my sugar levels. And he was very impressed with me. And he just believes that I'm taking my medication. But I only took it for one week. And after that, I, the side effects were really bad. I was very nauseous, um, just dizzy. It, it was really bad. So I, I threw him away. Oh, well, I'm very uh, proud of you and happy for you. Because Thank you. That, I reached my health goal, so that's what I wanted to do. Oh, that's so great, because um, it takes courage sometimes to not do what the doctor tells you to. I mean, some right. people will still do it just because the doctor said so, and you proved that, you know, you could do this without the medication. And again, we never claim that USANA is a cure. But mm -hmm. um, when you hear stories like this, they're very powerful and inspiring for the rest of us. Thank you. Right. Uh, as long as uh, my story, my mom too was able to reduce five points off of her sugar levels, and the same he tells her tells her the same thing too. So I have many stories, and that's what I tell my customers that wow. you know my prospects that that's that's the truth right there. We're we're the product of the product. Right. So, mm hmm And you've got the studies right there to show it. So that's great. Right. Great. Mm -hmm. well, keep up the great job. Keep the uh, you know. Yeah. The great health coming. It's one of those, you know, health is one of those things that you don't arrive and you're done. <laughs> we all mm -hmm. know that and we just keep going. And so, oh, and yes. Everyone, but I'm really happy for you and thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to move into um, the, the bulk of the training now. Uh, whenever you uh, um, enroll in a new client, we have our USANA clients page, and this, this page plugs people into the USANA family. So this is for preferred customers. What you would do, first of all, is add them as a member. So you'd have to friend them first, make sure you're your, your friend on Facebook. And then you can write up a little story about them and, and just ask everyone to welcome them to the USANA family. And it's great for them to feel loved and, and have some kind of a support system that they can see there's other people that are actually taking the products as well. When you sponsor a, an associate, we have the Team DSI 
uh, Facebook group. And again, this one plugs the associates in. This is for associates only. And you would again friend them and then put them, add them as a member. You would write a little write up and ask the team to welcome them into the USANA family. And this is a very, um, has been very successful for our team. It, it, it's, it's very cohesive and it makes the, the new enrollees feel very welcome. Hybrid Solutions is a global USANA group. This is a secret group, so we like to just put our new associates on this group. Again, you would add people to the group in the same way. Um, there are over 6,000, I think it's up to 6,000, uh, over 6,000, Randy says, global, uh, globally USANA associates. And what this group does is um, plugs you into a, a bigger family, the bigger family of USANA. And it's great because you can actually put in, um, you can find out product stories. And so what you would do is you would, you would search the group. Oh, yeah, there's, there's 6,114 members when we took this picture. There's probably a lot more now. You would search this group with, um, let's say, fibromyalgia or diabetes, and, and then all of the, the posts that were relating to that will come up. And so I have used this a lot, and it's very helpful because sometimes somebody will ask me a question. I don't really know all the answer, so I'll, I'll go to hybrid, and I will type this in, and I will be able to read the posts, or you can type your own post in and have uh, people are really generous with information. And so this is a very valuable um, group. All right, upcoming events. We have, it was actually announced in the GoPro in Las Vegas that they are going to be doing Network Marketing Pro City Tours. And there's, I believe, 12 tours lined up for the first quarter of this of next year of January um, look at the ones that may be closest to you I know that a bunch of us are planning to go to the GoPro city tour here in Salt Lake City on February 20th so take a look at these 12 markets and if there are any near you or if you're living in these cities if you're in Las Vegas or Dallas, Texas, you know, you can get online at www.networkmarketingpro.com forward slash tour for all the registration information and location. So this is going to be a, a five hour Eric Ori only training. So I am, I'm very excited for this. He was so powerful in this last GoPro that uh, Definitely want to get as many of our team to this event here in Salt Lake City. And if you got an event near you, get to it as well. Staying in the loop, you can text at SA Events to 81010 for San Antonio events or for Salt Lake events at SLCEV to 81010 for Salt Lake City events. Do you need Dr. Lad McNamara CDs? You can go to www.ladmcnamara.com or uh, in San Antonio, they're doing group orders. Uh, contact Jared if you'd like a group order of 10 or 20 of these CDs. You can see the cost there, 257 per CD. Here in Utah, uh, if you want a 10 or a 20 pack, contact myself or Viola. If you would like to get some of these CDs, we have a few left. Our 100 went pretty quick, so we need to get more we can, but get a hold of us if you need a 10 or a 20 pack. Okay, the fifth annual sweet retreat is just right around the corner. We're currently making plans to attend this January 15th and 16th in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, this is a uh, retreat for women only and it's a sisterhood development, skill development and service. We get to learn from USANA leaders and um, it's just really a lot of fun. I've, I've been to all of them and so this is our fifth. They're at different locations. Last year it was in Scottsdale, Arizona. Here's a couple of pictures of some of our previous sweet retreats. You can see Sherry Bender and Lisa Hughes and Phyllis Walker and myself. We try to get as many of our team members there. There's me. I'm, I'm with Dr. Karen Wolf, 
and we get all, on a lot of her webinars. We, we actually get to learn from her there as well. Here I am with Dr. Um, she's a pediatrician. Christine. Christine Wood. Dr. Christine Wood. Gosh, I, I <laughs> got a blank there. Um, and it, and she tells us about uh, children's health, children's nutrition. We get to also have a a, um, a facial, and it, it's just a fun party. We get to eat chocolate and do all that fun stuff. And so there's some of our team there as well. Did you mention this is women only? This is women only. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is just some more pictures of the sweet retreat. We are um, we do have a table of ten already filled, but don't let that stop you. Uh, we can we can either fill another table or. We can get singles as well. There's, it's still open, or they still have um, openings. And the Hyatt Regency Hotel is where uh, the event's going to be held at. Rooms are filling fast, so you, you will want to call in and reserve, reserve a room as soon as possible. Also, you can call me or Crystal, and we can give you more information. Uh, these are the people that are going so far. There's uh, 10 of us, uh, possibly 11 or 12. I, I, I I am hearing from more women from our team that want to attend. So I would uh, highly encourage the women to, to really seriously look at this. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Grace Kiahoho, she is the co-founder of the DSWA, and that is the Direct Selling Women's Association. She trains us on Sunday, and this is an optional, additional workshop, but it, she teaches about coaching. And it's very valuable. I, um, we are, several of us are going to attend this, and I would highly encourage everyone to attend this as well. All right, success on the beach is coming up uh, for next year. This is the, uh, you saw on Jill Johnson's vision that. Uh, the Costa Rica success on the beach is definitely something that she is shooting for. And to tell you the truth, that's on our vision. That's on our weekly action plan each it's week. It's our goal, as well as a number of our team, to have you sauna cover that. And Jared's already done a, a uh, training on what it takes to win that or earn, have you sauna pay for you to get to Costa Rica. And to make sure if you haven't, go get in and opt in. You go on the hub, um, go uh, to contests and events, click on success on the beach, and, uh, and click opt in. And then you'll be there. And the goal is to, if you increase your commission volume points or the your check from last year by 6000 you get part of it paid for. If you increase it by 16000 dollars your income from the previous year you get start getting a uh, free room and board and it goes up from there to free airfare so look at Jared's training from the prior uh, webinars also upcoming in April April 13th through the 16th in Las back in Las Vegas is the USANA national event um, we'll be talking more about this. It actually starts on April 14th with a high performance summit. The 15th and the 16th is the national celebration and gala, and we will be promoting this soon, getting a lot more specifics on it because the information's coming to us now. But this is an, one of the, what I would call the second quarter important event that we uh, attend as a team. Third quarter event is the 2016 International Convention, which is August 24th through the 27th, back here in Salt Lake City. Uh, definitely, you and your team will want to be there. I'm, 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 I can always visualize what Dr. Wentz, one of his final speeches at the 2015 convention this year was: "You don't want to miss this one." And then he smiled. He never gets a, a little grin like that. So I'm very excited to get to this event and so is a lot of the team. There here are people that have already purchased their tickets for the international convention. So we're all excited and we're just going to be continuing to 
have fun, build our business, and join join again for the 2016 convention. And then rounding out 2016, uh, actually December 1st through the 4th is the seventh annual GoPro Recruiting Mastery, and an, another very powerful event. Not only Tony Robbins is coming back. Uh, to, to jump up and down and get us all in motion in 2016. Sir Richard Branson it will also be a guest speaker at this event as well as others. So two amazing powerhouses in this industry at the 2016 GoPro. Uh, again, put on by Eric Worre, the person you see there in the center. So the best gets better. I mean, yeah, uh, the GoPro we just got back from last week was our second, and that was 10 times better than our first one. I'm going to say this one is even going to be better. As always, be prepared. Make sure that you carry all of the materials with you as you're out and about. You'll never know where you'll be need to do a presentation, have a, share a CD, share a newspaper. So these are the bins that Jerry carries around in his car. He's always prepared uh, to be at Jim's on 410 and Blanco <laughs> for a presentation. <laughs> we'll f finish it off uh, with, again, our team DMO, and that was also brought up at the GoPro, the DMO, um, the importance of DMO. So our daily method of operation is, number one, use your products every day, AM and PM. Number two, read, listen, Read, watch, or listen to 15 minutes of personal development minimum daily. Number three, add two brand new people to your contact list and invite them. And there's also going to be a fourth we're going to be putting into this DMO is to read your goals twice a day. Because goals were covered heavily in this, and if you have your goals in front of you and you look at them, that's part of the motivation of why we do this business. So there'll be a fourth one added here soon. An example of invite, and my company just came out with a 10 minute YouTube video. We'll need to practice on some friends. Would you be willing to watch it and let me call you afterwards to ask a few questions? Or I'm learning my company's slideshow and I need to practice on someone I trust. You're basically honoring that person. Would you be willing to meet up and let me practice on you? Then after you get after they watch the video that you send them, you do the closing questions, which are on page five of the fast track manual, and get them closed. So that's it. That's it for our Monday night webinar. Um, like to just open up the line to a few people and uh, let me know, you know, what were your highlights of this of this webinar and uh, any comments you may have. Aurora, we'll start with you. Aurora can too if you'd unmute yourself. There you go. Hello, how are y'all doing today? Doing, doing well. This was a repeat for you. Right, but it's always good to have a repeat. <laughs> it is. Yes, because, you know, it, it, I mean, you don't always pick everything up 100% regardless of how many notes you write. So it's always good to hear it again verbally and see it. So it was very good. Any highlights or comments for this uh, tonight's webinar? Well, the highlights are always that you and Viola do a great job. Well, thank you. And then um, just hearing the, the stories, you know, I was like so happy for Ruby because you know some of you know some of that medication that they give you you know they they think that they're helping you but it really you know the the side effects on some of those things are just really not helping you get better so i'm glad that the usana products are helping her numbers and they look pretty drastic so you know i can see why her doctor is not really believing her right right Oh, thank, thank you so much, Aurora, and, and uh, great talking with you. Yeah, the same here. I'll see. We'll see each other soon. I hope so. All right, like the Becky Armstrong, Becky Armstrong, part-time resident, but now back in part-time resident of Utah, now back in North Carolina. Becky, 
I miss you. I miss you. How are you, Becky? I miss everybody already. I, I know it. I know it. But but there, I'm so glad to have you home. I like to come to you for tonight's webinar. Um, I I like that fourth DMO. Uh, it's going to be fun to to add that. And you're right. That really was impressive. Um, on the uh, from GoPro. Mm -hmm. GoPro. Yes. Thank you. Um, and I liked the you seeing you know seeing who's going to be where and who's already signed up and you see your own name on there and like I bought the ticket now I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, but it's it's fun to know. Yep, I made that commitment. I'm gonna be yeah, there. Yeah, you are. You're and committed to the See who else is gonna be there too. Yep. Yeah, and there's a couple more that are committed here in Salt Lake, and we'll again we'll promote it. It's still a little early, but uh, it's gonna be a great event. So yes, it will. All right, thank you. So glad to hear your voice. Love you. Miss you, and uh, look forward to hearing from you again soon. All right, thank you. Bianca, Bianca, if you could unmute yourself. All right, you're unmuted. Bianca. Hi, how's it going? Good. Highlights or comments from tonight's webinar? There's a lot of information for definitely for personal development and motivation. Um, there's a lot of training that I had no clue about. Um, it's really impressive. <laughs> And it's yeah. definitely motivating from every different aspect of this company and from you and, and Jared and a lot of great people. There's many great stories, yeah. especially with the with, with Sabrina. And, and it's crazy. Um, I never let Jared know that I actually had acid reflux before. Wow. And um, I used to have to take Nexium all the time. This is actually when I was younger, maybe like 11, 11 years old. And knowing that these supplements are like the concentrated foods, like superfood for you, just to know that that would actually help you instead of a prescription drug, it, it it's amazing to me. Right. And it's extremely motivating to see like what else this company has in store. And going to the seminar that I went to with Jared and Crystal. Um, yeah, yeah. It was great. How was, how was that seminar? How was the how was that event was for you? Awesome. It was really, really great. Uh, so many people and different stories that were there and very heartfelt. I've never been to anything like that and it really opened my eyes to see all the great things in people and in the company as well. Mm -hmm. So true. Yep, stories, stories are a very integral part of our business. Yes, and people, people remember I, the hope stories. Be, I hope to be a product of USANA as well very, very soon. I am looking forward to it. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Bianca. Great thank you. Talking with Carmen Guterres. Carmen, if you could unmute yourself. Carmen, Carmen, she might have stepped away for a minute. Catherine Lord, Washington, state of Washington. Catherine, how are you? I'm fantastic. <laughs> we know that. We know that. Hi highlights or comments from tonight's webinar, Catherine? Yes, of course. Um, I think the best thing that I learn tonight and I don't know why I never thought about this but you know when I have new people come in like my last person Angie who just came in yeah. I probably should have put her in somebody else's thing underneath me in what? to help you know like in, in either Julia or Arlene's like, I didn't realize about putting them down there. Like, I just realized left and right of my side. I didn't realize putting them in other people's. You know, the only problem like, with that is you lose visibility. So it's not recommended that you put preferred customers uh, in another person's business. Can I say something here? Um, Catherine, you know, I'm 
used to think the same way when I first started, and I actually did, um, when I was enrolling a preferred customer, I would put them in someone else's business in my downline because I thought, well, I may as well leverage this person, and it didn't serve, it didn't serve me or the person at the end because 10 years later, the, some of the people are gone, and I have no visibility, and USANA doesn't give you information unless you're the sponsor. And so um, I do not recommend doing that for that reason. And so, um, you know, it's, it's, it's very generous of you to think that way because, I mean, I thought that way too. But uh, now I just, you know, I sponsor my own people and take care of them. and Clients. The clients, yes. right. Of course, associates you would put under other people. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's how we do it. But, but as far as preferred customers go, I would definitely... Um, just put them in your own business. Does oh, that make okay. sense? Um, I guess so, because actually was, I watched a little video the other day, too. Actually, it was one on, like, how to, uh, like, how to do, a, um, have a, have a, have a business in the Philippines, and it explained all of it, like, in a lot of detail, and it, it said, so like if you put an associate in somebody else's business and that a person above, like that person decides at some point that they want to leave, that you still get the, um, you, you will you get, get the, the volume. You yeah. Get the volume, you'll, get, you, you, you'll get the volume points, but you won't get visibility as far as you'll see the points, but you won't get any information on that person. You can't see what the person's ordering or, um, their, or even their name. Yeah. Oh. Philippines is a little different. They don't have preferred customers. They have only associates. Oh. You might know, be a preferred customer in the Philippines. Oh. So we learn that. But through you do, you're, you're right. You do get the volume. You just um, won't have any access. You're not the sponsor, so USANA is not going to recognize you as a sponsor. So if I call USANA and say, you know, I have this, this client, his name's Keith. And I need to see what he ordered this week. Did he actually um, order products? I'll say, I'm sorry, you're not the sponsor. Yeah. And I've had them tell me that, and I'm, I thought to myself, wow, I, you know, I really messed up way back in the day. Oh. And oh. yeah. Well, so the best is if it's a preferred customer, uh, you be the sponsor. Place them and in for your an associate, you sort of will give you information on associates in your downline. So even if you did not sponsor someone, um, for example, you have um, you have associates you did not sponsor, you can you can call on those people and you sign. We'll give you information because that's different. And if there's any other questions, give us a call after. Okay, and sure. We can make, yeah, we can make sure that it, it's I'm, totally clear I'm, with you. I'm so. glad I'm glad you said something because I think there might be other associates thinking the same thing. So I'm glad we yeah. talked about it yep. anyway. Yeah. Yeah, well, that that actually cleared it up even more because it was, I guess, it was clear as mud for me before. Now it's <laughs> no. Thank, thank you so much, Catherine. Yeah, give us a give us a call. It'd be great to talk to you either way. Okay, thank you. Christian Glad. Christian, Christian, how are you, sir? I'm good. Am I muted? Yeah. Highlights or comments from tonight's webinar. For you? How did I like to pardon? Any any uh, comments or what was your highlights of tonight's webinar? Well, my, my, my highlights and comments were I'm digging through stuff looking for my library card so that I can improve my uh, reading after yeah. going to the uh, network marketing pro and some of the books there. Um, uh -huh. Like Gloria who gave the first talk, I have that I can't spell anything problem um, so I went I'm gonna go out to the library and see if I can find these books on tape and instead of being able to read them I can listen to them so mm -hmm. I, I did find my library card success yeah that, that, <laughs> that is so true that's I think was another key message from the GoPro was these leaders read a lot and they a personal development daily. I mean, Bob Proctor, he's read uh, Think and Grow Rich day after day for many, many years. So, no, that's excellent. 
That's excellent, Christian. Thank you. Excellent. Any any other comments? Um, it was nice popping in for the brief uh, visit Saturday. And yeah. to see uh, Andre again. And I really wish I wasn't as tired as I was that day. Oh, I would have liked to have stayed for the whole event. <laughs> I sent you those pictures. Did you get those pictures? Um, I saw, yes. I saw them both. All right, excellent. All right, well, have, have fun at the library, Christian. No, thank you. Julia Hay, Portland, Oregon. Hi, guys. No, not Portland, Kelso. No, uh, no. Kaiser, no. Kaiser, <laughs> Oregon, Kelso, Washington. And I'm no. the time in Lincoln no. City now. I've been back and forth to the coast. But anyway, I love tonight's webinar. Um, it was just as informative, or more so maybe, than the first time you did it, because this time I, I think I absorbed more. I, again, love the hashtags when you tally up um, your events for what you're doing every day. Right. I can see where that keeps you a little bit more focused and you have, you're goal-oriented and you know where, you, where you're going, where you've been, what you're doing. It all makes sense. It, every time I see it, it makes a little more sense. And I did love GoPro. Uh, I'm still, I still have the um, live streaming going. And today I listened um, again. I listened to Robert Kiyosaki. Kiyosaki, yeah, huh? Kiyosaki. Yeah. Wow. Well, that was um. Well, we won't talk about that. No. <laughs> yeah. No. It was. It was very, very good. Just that we are in the right business at the right time. Yes. Yeah. So, anyway, um, so let's get busy is what he's saying, huh? <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, we, we have a million-dollar business. All of us do. Yes, and treat it so. And I love Eric's messages always, too. And I did not know. Well, I mean, I had I, – I did jot down here and note it, and I'm hoping that my new – when I get my calendar up, I will plan on that um, – I didn't know GoPro was April 14th this coming year, so I'll have to. Uh, that's that. the national. The national. Yeah. USANA national is April 14th. That's USANA national in Las Vegas. Yes. USANA. Yes. That's why I didn't know what it yes. was. Okay, USANA. And right. then GoPro is December 1st through the 4th, 2016. That's right. No, I meant I meant the USANA one. That's the first time I'd really, I guess, heard yeah. it. I probably you probably mentioned it before, but I did note the April 14th. That's going to be great. Perfect. Yeah, that is. The national is great. And you're going to promote that more later, you're saying? Yes. Okay. And Viola and I are excited because we'll be walking the stage at, at a minimum oh. new executive. That's right. right. Oh, oh, yes. I have we to want you, We want you there cheering. <laughs> oh, I definitely. Oh, yes, I'll be there. No, that will be so much fun. I'd love to do that. Congrats again, you guys, <laughs> the executives. All right. Thanks, Good. Julia. All right. Good night. Good night. Khalid Medina. Khalid, if you can unmute yourself. Highlights, comments from tonight's webinar, Khalid? Moving on, Melita Sheets. Melita, Portland, Hello. Oregon. How are you, Melita? I'm good and recuperating. <laughs> recuperating. I know those of you that see Melita on Facebook, she had a, her arm. It was a ganglion cyst removed. Yeah, a ganglion cyst and yes, all wrapped yes. up. And so I'm glad you're on the road to recovery. Highlights and comments for tonight's webinar. I like the way I like the repeat though, because I really would like to learn a lot more on this uh, lab. So yes. It. And uh, it, it's a good tool, you know, especially if you have a lot of time. For my yep. time, it's like five days a week, only at night, on the weekdays, I can do, and um, maybe on a, the weekend. You know. Yeah, it is an extremely valuable tool for those people with limited time. Yes. It's, it's yeah, it. you know, we went over with one with one of our team today who put out or mapped out her week and has eight hours of income producing. She knows the importance of income producing activity. 
it makes you efficient yes. with your time. And once you get the hang of, of doing it, I think it'll be a lot quicker for everyone. At first, when you're learning, there's a the learning curve, but it will get quicker, and then you'll, you'll be able to just whip them out every week, be inspired, and just go on with your week. Yes. And really treat your business like a job because mm -hmm. that's part of the problem. That's one of the things we talked about at our event on Saturday was um, everyone should be treating it like a job because if it was a, if it was your job to make two phone calls a day, mm -hmm. you know that you'd be doing it like we'd all be doing it. It's our job. But because it's our business, a lot of times we're like, well, I guess I won't do it today. But just treat it like a job mm -hmm. is what um, was, was one of the big ahas that I got from our training this weekend. Yep. And definitely, if if you want more help or some more time on the weekly action plan, call us, text us, and let's set up a time, maybe a half hour, where we can just sit down with it and uh, go over it. Make sure that it's you understand it comfortably. And you'll also have this recording as well. That's cool. All right. Thank you, Melita. Thank you. Tracy. Yes. <laughs> there. Yes. Highlights and comments from today's webinar, tonight's webinar. Uh, that my husband gained a better understanding. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, yeah, excellent. <laughs> no, uh, the uh, he's an accountant, so sometimes uh, when it comes to you know stuff that's related to accounting and numbers, I leave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have an advantage, Tracy. Yes. That's awesome. So it was the, the I don't know I'm going to call it a chart for lack of a better word. Yes, the the financial you know the the payout and how that works and yes how you strategize that was that was very informative uh, um, uh, you know for me and so as a result our team and how we you know of course Jared is always helpful he's great he helped me today with it but uh, just watching it tonight. Uh, just reinforce and you know made things a, a little bit clearer. So uh, I, I was happy with with that. That was the was a, a was a great you know thing. Was my highlight anyway. All of it was great, but that was my highlight. Oh, excellent! Yes, it it is a strategy. It, it, it that all it, it all starts with your number one business center, which one's the smallest, and flow down from there. And it's a balance game as well so and seeing what you need to do each week um, you know everyone says well I have this goal I'm going to do this but there's something about seeing exactly what you have to do that makes it uh, gives you clarity and, and actually gets the job done exactly I mean and, and in my training and everything is process oriented you know how do you get from here to there so um, that 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 was great for me all right all right so Any, anything you. else? You bet. Anything else, you too? No, I, I think that's about it. All right. All right. Thank you so much. And the, finally, we'll. Uh, I see Jared's here on the phone and on actually computer. I've unmuted the computer. There you are, Jared. Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't unmute the uh, the other one. Don't unmute, Jared. Okay. There You're we still go. muted. Can you hear me? All right. Final comments. Yes, my son. Comments, uh, uh, highlights of tonight's webinar for you? Sure. Um, well, first of all, fantastic job on this weekly action plan training. I love how you screenshot. You did screenshots for everything and zoomed in. I loved how you had the little um, hash marks for the uh, when you're contacting new people because that something sometimes hard to explain to our people over the phone. It's nice to see that that, you know, they, they have a visual. Um, I loved how you explained all the points and, you know, you kind of went into detail. Um, you talked about the mixers. I mean, you really were comprehensive and you did it like in 10, 15 minutes. Like it's like going to be a real nice uh, video that we can use for the future. Yes. So yeah. thank you for all your hard work. Um, I loved, I loved all that. Um, you explained and I was thinking to myself, man, I would, I would love to have uh, Jill Johnson as a business partner. <laughs> Man, the Jill the Johnson clan, you gotta love them. Jill Johnson, <laughs> man, she's a great, she's a great associate. She's she's hosting mixers and filling up guest lists and, you know, getting her <laughs> action plan done early. I'm like, 
And then I realized that's actually everyone listening to this webinar or watching this video is, is basically like her. So uh, awesome mm -hmm. to work with such great, amazing people on our team. And um, well, we do. So, yes. So thank you for, for all your hard work and I uh, really appreciate everything y'all do, uh, do on a weekly basis for our team. Oh, thank you as well, Jared. It, it definitely is a team effort. Yeah, you, as well, as anyone knows, it takes takes some time to put these together, and and that's where you know my 11, 8, 11 p.m. to one a.m. is my uh, build these webinar times. Right, <laughs> that's your uh, your non-income producing activities. <laughs> my non-producing activities. I, I don't, you know, but I still get my eight hours sleep. That's oh yeah. Point. But oh, thanks everyone. Thank you, Jared. Um, Viola, any last I comments? I just like your artistic creativity on all the Johnson names that you were coming up with. <laughs> Billy Bob Johnson. Billy Bob. Yeah, Billy Bob Johnson, man. Got to get his Billy auto order done. <laughs> everyone needs a Billy Bob Johnson in their team. Their... <laughs> I love the stories. I was really inspired with Carmen and Ruby and their stories. I, I loved it. Um, of course, we always love hearing those. But anyway, I like to include those in our. It was neat that we included some of those in our webinar this week. Yep. Absolutely. Great stories, man. Uh, everyone's having success with the products and building their businesses and helping others. It's just an exciting time for us and our team. Yes. Yep. Well, I'm going through right now. I'm unmuting everyone. You'll need to unmute yourselves. Here, take me a little bit. But once we... Uh, had a, had a great turnout tonight, so hang tight. All right, got everyone unmuted at this point. They don't have a simple key for that, but I'd uh, like to end this with uh, saying good night and God bless. Good night, good everyone. Night. Good night, God bless. Good night, God bless. Good night, God bless. Good night, God bless. Good night. Good night.